Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back for another episode of Ice Lakes and we are still taking part in the last leg of the New World Tournament and in this one we're actually going to a very, very tiny, tiny lake. It's called the Duck Pond and it's right in the middle of the city. So it's going to be a little more challenging than the other two as far as getting the fish. Now we're going after the total weight of the fish which determines the winner and the biggest fish I've ever caught in there was a pike at three pounds. They don't come very big here. That's why it's a lot more challenging. And as far as the species we probably want to focus on, pike would be one of them. You probably want to also focus on whitefish. Mm, as far as anything else, nothing's going to come all that big out of here. Maybe the black bullhead, but even the largemouth and smallmouth bass here, they're pretty, pretty small. Bream, they're pretty small. The chubs are pretty small. This is just a little bitty pond, so it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be tough to call about who's going to win. The only good thing is many of these people have disqualified, so we're down to like the last seven, including myself. This is in the evening, winter, for 30 minutes, and again, like I said, total weight. And we're going to go ahead and get it started. It's Like I said, it's not big. This is like a inner city park or something like that where they actually have fishing. Alright, so like I said, there's not much to go on here. We're going to go ahead and get a depth thing here so that we can go to the deepest part. Like I said, I'm going to focus on pike to start off with and then whitefish. The biggest things that you can pull out of here. There are some fairly good Xander. I've been been lucky with that before. And it only gets to 36 feet here. Actually, that's pretty deep for this little pond. I've got something called the Blue Shark. I think it's what it's called exactly. And I'm using the meteor hook, and we are going to change baits. I think we're going to start off with the gray scale, which is good for pike. Doesn't take it long to get to the bottom. Uh, there's another one there. I think it's called the red hex. That's good for the white fish. So if we get low on this, we can always switch. It's minus two degrees Fahrenheit. It's not real bad. There we go. Again, this is not a big fish. It is a pike. 1.26 pounds. Kinda small, kinda small. I think what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna switch over to the green goblin. Now the green goblin is really good for whitefish. It's good for pike too, believe it or not. So if we're going to try to get some of the whitefish, we may want to use this. That way we can start off with it when we move to the next hole and see if we can get another pike. Doesn't sound like three pounds would be hard to beat, honestly. Let's try a little bit more attractant. Come on, guy. Oh, that's real small. Black crappie, little bitty fella. Yeah, and this we're pretty much going to be trying to go as catch as much as we can. I mean, yeah, we definitely want something big. But if we catch a lot, that may be able to make up for it. 
Yeah, this one's going to be my biggest challenge yet. This lake is really... I've been in a few competitions in this. I did free play here. It's just really hard to catch anything big, as you saw. Well, if we don't get anything more, I'm going to move over to another spot where we might get more numbers. And we'll stick with this lure because it seems like it's always been a good overall lure. The Green Goblin, the Blue Beast, both of those are really good overall, overall lures. Nice generic lures. Yeah, we're just getting little bitty things here. Holy crap. He's barely bait. Yeah, let's let's move. Yeah, we're going to go over to this bridge. Let me check the map here. Let's see. We've got That's not what I intended to do. <laughs> wasn't trying to drill a hole but I guess we're going to do it anyway well we'll let's try the red hex here and then as far as lures go bet you anything if I can remember which one is good for so the Indian peafowl is good, but what I need is something that's good for Caribbean blue. Can't remember which one's good for the black bullheads. But you're going to see a lot of the black bullheads here. Let's see brook trout, ice queen. Nope. Let's just go with blue beast. I've pulled everything out of there with the Blue Beast at some point. I only have one of those? I thought I had more of those. Yeah, you know, the Black Bullheads look big. They're not as big as they look. But if we get enough of them, or the Trout, the trout and the bullhead seem to like to stay around this bridge. There's a perch. About a half a pound. Okay, like I said, this was not where I intended on drilling. I, when I was hitting the map, I must have bumped a, a button or something. Yeah, that's not where I wanted to go. Where in the heck am I anyway? Okay, way over here. Yeah, right here is where I wanted to drill. There's a couple of good things that we can try for here. Surprised no one's tried it. That's not even so much as a hole over here. Okay, wasn't the gray scale? What did I need? Not for bluegill. The trout jam, maybe. Well, let's try the dots. We're gonna try this lure to start off with might look for a more specialized lure when it focuses on either the bullheads or the trout seems to be perch central here
Now at this point, any weight at all is going to be helpful. And if we don't do anything here, we'll go back out to the deep water again. Well, I thought it looked like something bit. I hope that wasn't a glitch. If it is, I'm going to have to start over here. Ah, right, boy. It might be that glitch, guys. I hadn't seen that glitch for a while. Let's move over here. Yeah, I'd love to get some whitefish. I think if we could find a good spot for whitefish, which I really haven't in this pond, I think that might be what we could use to beat this. Damn, I mean, there's like nothing. Just not getting a whole lot of bites here. Okay, we're gonna head over to this dark or deep spot over here. I think I'm going to I am going to change lures. I'm also going to change rods. I think I'm going to go to a medium. I really don't need that heavy of a rod, and I'm afraid I might be missing bites because of the sensitivity. All right, and we are going to change that back to the green goblin and see if we can't get some these white fish attracted. Yeah, the whitefish are going to be deeper. I'm hoping maybe using this, and this is a little bit fancier of a medium rod too, so... Shouldn't be anything so big. Whoa! That was a bite, and that's probably that daggone glitch, and that's going to really tick me off, because that means I have to pull stakes and move, because otherwise it's not going to do anything. Uh, wasting a lot of time for this stupid glitch. It seems like once it starts going, it goes rampant. Oh, it definitely puts it down there fast. But, I mean, you saw it bobbing. I mean, there's obviously something pulling on it. That I did. Okay. I'm just going to make sure it really takes it. Okay, now we're getting a little bit better. We are still kind of sticking with the perch and, you know, just little bitty fish for the most part here. I don't believe it. I'll wait until something really grabs it. There we go. I 
again, not a monster, but there's a pike. As I always said, every pike has a every hole has a pike. That's what I mean mean to say here. Every hole has a pike. Thing is, does it have whitefish? There we go, that's a little bit better. There, that's what we're after right there, guys. That is exactly what we're after. If we could just get some bigger ones. Love to see that thing double over. Just once. Yeah, for this particular pond, you might be better off using this or the light rods. Because they just don't come that big. And the heavy rod, it's hard to tell if you're getting a bite. Well, maybe it has. Okay, let's try over here for a bit. Looks like there's been a lot of activity on that side of things. It's like a little deeper channel right here. Might be worth checking out. Yep. Keep hoping for one great big old fish. Every little pond has their monsters, so... He's in here. Here we go. There's a pike. See, they just don't get very big here. <laughs> Not big at all. He wasn't even a pound. He's a baby. Oh, wow. That was a pretty good bite. Nice. Now we're talking. Maybe I just need to move it up a little bit. Just throw a little more of that in there. Need a few more of those, guys. To feel confident. There we go. Another white fish. Yeah, the white fish are definitely what we're needing to focus on, I guess. Well, I was too slow. Okay, that was a legitimate one that I just missed. Whatever it was, it wasn't that big, so it's not like it would have mattered a whole lot. 
You know, the whitefish are pulling a lot harder than that, so that's what we want to get. We want to see that rod bend. Yeah, I think I might move one more time. We're definitely running out of time, though. Well, let me see here. I'm not entirely convinced that we're not going to find something over here in this deep area. Just not going to go as deep. Maybe a little deeper. Try that tracting again. I'm hoping. Tiny, but it is a whitefish. They're here. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Got a little. Okay, there's a good one. Okay, we're almost out of time here. Just hoping to get one more. But it's not going to take very long to get back. This is not a big lake at all. Come on, one more. Here we go. We're going to have to call this quits after this, though. Eh, he's tiny. I think I don't think I got anything much over a pound this whole time. But we need to head back. We don't want to forfeit after all this. Yeah, look at all the skyscrapers. In the middle of the big city. Alright, there's the countdown. There's not that many people in this competition still. <laughs> I don't know what they're all here for. Alright, we'll see how we did. Second place. See, I told you, it's not an easy one. I, would, I knew that this one was going to be tough. But I don't think it's going to matter, because the other two I did so well, I should still be in first. Yes. New World Tournament. Total points, 27. Fish caught 15. 9.87 pounds. Somebody caught... I caught the biggest fish. That was the 1.28 pound whitefish. If I just gotten one more, I would have won that one all the way. It would have been a clean sweep. But still, 5000 cash. Can't beat that. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and this tournament. Let me know in the comments below if there's something else you want to see or have me do. I am more than willing to be open to suggestions. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will. See you later. Bye-bye.